Well, the city of Austin is rich in resources for entrepreneurs and small businesses. First and foremost, of course, is our very own program. The city of Austin, uh, in addition to attracting businesses here, provides a lot of resources to help our small businesses grow. Our small business development program has a walk-in solutions center. They put on great events like Meet the Lender, our business resource fair coming up April 7th. Um, and my program, the Emerging Technologies program, works as a kind of a combination between a business consultant, matchmaker, and cheerleader. I help make connections, broker uh, in introductions, uh, help find people, help people find where to go to network, help them find funding, whatever it is they need. Um, but the city of Austin itself is rich in organizations that are uh, there to help businesses grow. We have our uh, technology incubator, our numerous chambers, our uh, organizations, our co-working spaces. Uh, that are there to help uh, entrepreneurs meet one another, help them uh, find resources, and we're a very giving, very generous community. I love the way entrepreneurs will help bring other entrepreneurs along, will help give them uh, advice, will, even if they're in a, in a competitive space. We're very generous, very giving, uh, very helpful to one another. It's a very collaborative space. Um, and there's people that are all working on the same page to bring more resources here. We have a number of people working to bring more funding here. So where we have gaps, we have people that are working together and we all play nice. We all kind of join arms and, and uh, form a, a collective to help, uh, help bring the resources that entrepreneurs need. Cinemas began in 1997 and it really hit the zeitgeist of what was going on at the time. Um, it was very youthful, it was pre-9-11, it was very uh, eye-opening to try something new and different. And the first Alamo was actually a parking garage on Colorado Street. So moving ahead from there, they found out, the founders found out that uh, it was actually a great concept. People were going to see old movies, let's try it with first run films. Uh, a theater opened up in North Austin, and so began the craze of seeing first run films and crazy uh, scheduling and programming at the Alamo with food and drink combined. And it just garnered this great um, uh, affinity from the customer base. 55,000 students from UT, uh, people coming and going through Austin. It was just the perfect time to build a great brand. I think the Alamo Draft House Cinemas also works primarily in Austin because one is born here and secondly it really encompasses what a cool lifestyle we have here and the uh, small burgeoning companies are given room to breathe and grow. You have people coming out of uh, large corporations such as Dell and AMD and also people just getting out of University of Texas wondering what are they going to do. And there is a perfect, um, perfect storm of capital and ideas and youth and age and, and, uh, and old to make things like this happen. And it's, it's uh, just a perfect storm for that. The most interesting thing about the word weird is when it came about. We have had over the 30 years I've been in business different ways that we've referred to Austin. And the concept of a weird city really came about because of a librarian. You could always rely on librarians to come up with interesting ways to, to phrase things. And we could have said Austin is creative because in Austin is very creative. We have said it's the music capital and the software capital and everything else. But the one that stuck is the thing that seems to reflect the, the psyche, the people who are here and the people who want to buy things here and grow things here and initiate and invent things. And you do find some, some very odd things. Uh, you know, we certainly have our share of, of dropouts and hippies who, who make it, but we also have some, some really weird people who you would never think would be successful in business. But somehow it just gels in Austin. And when you look at other cities, Certainly some of them are tryout cities, and Austin has been known for a place where you can try out a new product or service, and if it'll go in Austin because of the demographics we hear, it'll go anywhere. But there's this unique quality, this acceptance, um, and it doesn't necessarily mean working hard. It does mean really this creative, you turn a corner and you don't know that you're going to see huts on one side and you're going to see GSDNM basically on the other. It's just a place where it's full of surprises, and that to me is really the concept of being weird. 
Well, there's so many positive things uh, to talk about uh, when it comes to business in Austin, but there are a few challenges uh, in this city, uh, and we'll talk about the entrepreneurs uh, in particular. Uh, one of the things that we're hearing from entrepreneurs right now is there is a bit of a lack of venture capital flowing into our city right now. Um, we do have the uh, um, a presence on the global business stage. Um, but for some reason, uh, you know, maybe uh, the, uh, the financing is not as strong as it perhaps needs to be um, for some of the entrepreneurs uh, that are here. You know, we're seeing a lot of the, the money centers in places like Boston and uh, in New York and then, you know, over on the West Coast in California and Silicon Valley in particular. And so we need more uh, venture capital firms uh, is what we're, what we're needing right now. Um, workforce is an interesting one. It's, it's one of the things that draws businesses here. Um, because we've got such a great workforce, um, but then at the same time our, our unemployment is relatively low um, when you compare us to the rest of the country, um, so it could be tough to fill jobs.